What's going on everybody? This is the Uncanny Omar from Nearman Condition and it is that time of the month again. That's right, time to hide your spouses, hide your kids, hide your pets, hide your bill collectors, hide everybody because we got to talk about collected editions that are coming out for the month of August of 2021. So let's get started. And welcome back everybody. Now, if you are interested in the written documentation of all the stuff that is coming out for the month of August, or any month really, I do put that out on our Patreon, and we have different tiers on our Patreon. If you want to check that out, the description of this video has the link to our Patreon. So, we got four weeks in the month of August. We have five weeks for DC, because DC releases their books releases releases their books um, on Tuesdays so on the 31st we have that fifth week for DC so let's go ahead and get started uh, but as always just a reminder that dates are always subject to change as a matter of fact you're gonna see another book in here that this is the third month in a row that it's supposed to come out but it is coming out this uh, coming up week so let's go ahead and get started with Marvel Comics. For the week of August 4th, we have The Amazing Spider-Man, the Michelinie McFarlane omnibus, both the direct market and the standard edition. This is one of the books that I suggested for my top 10 must buys, essential buys, most recommended last month. So when I do that list again, that list will be coming out probably on Sunday. Uh, remember that because I won't add it to that to August's list because it was in July's list. Captain America by Dan Jurgens Omnibus, both the Gene Hawk cover and the Dan Jurgens cover are gonna be available that day. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that they did add issue 24 in here. So even though it says 25 through 50, I have it over there, they did add issue 24 in there, which is what we suggested, as well as Captain America The Legend and Captain America Annuals 2000 and 2001. So that was something that we let Marvel know about, and they added it in there. The Death of Captain America Omnibus, both the Standard Edition and Direct Market, are available that same day. I've done an overview of that already. If you want to check that out, we have Omnibus Reviews playlist on the channel. If you're new to the channel, you can check that out. Curse of the Man thing, I gotta say, I love this cover. I have no idea what this is about. Obviously, this is not Steve Gerber, but it is a Steve. It's Steve Orlando, and it's Curse of the Man thing, and that is a beautiful pa Patrick Gleason man he got me to buy a single issue again which is that spider-man webbing cover and then I found out there's a venom one and a carnage one and now look man thing Excalibur by Teeny Howard this is the oversized hardcover volume one collecting the first 12 issues of Excalibur and I've done an advanced overview on the channel for that particular OHC Golden Age Captain America omnibus volume two I when I did the Silver Age Captain America omnibus overview, I put this one, so I kind of gave everybody a small glimpse as to what this spine looks like. It is the classic uh, Golden Age spine they were using. And this one's $125 collecting issues 13 through 24 of the classic Golden Age Captain America. Both covers are available the same day. Hellions Volume 2 collecting issues 7 through 12. That's one of my favorite Dawn of X series. Maestro, War, and Pax, trade paperback. So another Maestro series, collecting War and Pax 1 through 5 from the phenomenal Peter David. If we ever get a Peter David Hulk omnibus companion, I'd hope to see these stories in there. New Mutants by Vida Ayala, trade paperback volume 1. By the way, I always give uh, my viewers an advanced look at upcoming Marvel trades, and I usually do it on the Tuesday that the books are due out. It gives me a plenty of time to read these. As a matter of fact, I'm reading New Mutants right now. Not just that one, but also this one here. And that is the Epic Collection, Sudden Death. This is such a nice, sweet spot. Uh, this this is an Epic Collection that was missing, uh, that hadn't been collected yet for in the classic format. Um, and I think it's also missing from the oversized hardcover format. So, collecting issues 55 through 70. No, I'm a mistake. My mistake. It was collected through the issues of Fall of the Mutants and Inferno, Prologue and Inferno. So it is available in oversized hardcover. But for the first time in epic format, 55 through 70 and annual number four of the New Mutants. So the uh, Louise Simons and Wheezy's run. Star Wars Legends Epic Collection Original Marvel Years Trade Paperback Volume 5. I could have sworn they were done with this already. But I think this might be the last one. Yeah, this goes all the way through 88, as well as, well as the Return of the Jedi miniseries. 
one I'm very excited to talk about, and that is the Wolverine Black, White, and Blood Treasury Edition. So these are the oversized books, and again, I'll be doing it. I may do a separate video for that one, just because it's Wolvie. I'm on Kenny Omar. And speaking of Wolvie, finally, I swear, this it is coming out this week, and it is Wolverine Omnibus Volume 2. All three covers are coming out this week. So there you have it. That's for Marvel. From DC Comics, we have The Last God Hardcover Edition. Now, this is a book that's $49.99. I hope it's oversized format. I don't know. It's part of the Black Label line. Uh, it's from Philip Kennedy Johnson and Ricardo Federici's. So it's, a, it's fantasy and horror. So up my alley. I haven't read it, and I really want to read it as soon as I heard about this. Honestly, the cover's what sold me. OMAC One Man Army Corps by Jack Kirby's coming out. This is the classic Jack Kirby OMAC, OMAC saga. So for those of you wondering where this book went, it's finally coming out. The Sandman Deluxe Edition Volume 3, so not canceled. Thank goodness. Just moved to this particular week. Supergirl Adventures Girl of Steel is coming out that week from DC Comics. As far as the world of manga, we have Battle Angel Alita Volume 1. I think this is one that I suggested from my top 10 last last month it's just been pushed back until this date and that's both in the direct market and the book market it was supposed to originally come out in july but this is the big 300 page format it's pretty much the hardcover but it's in soft cover format for those of you that have been wanting to check it out in a cheaper version black clover continuing oh my gosh it's on volume 26 cirque the freak manga omnibus this is the darren sean it's based on the Darren Sean series, which I had no idea what it was about, but my daughter and I both read volumes one and two, really enjoyed it. So this is from Yen Press. We'll be doing an advance or a look at that uh, sometime probably this coming week. Daigo, the Beast, trade paperback. No idea what this is about, published by Udon Studios, but it's got my boy Ryu and Balrog there. Or M. Bison, if you are, you know, if you play Street Fighter in Japan. Japan. Demon Slayer Kimutsa no Yaiba. Volume 23 is coming out. So I don't know if this is the final volume or not. All I know is I've pre-ordered that box set because I'm very excited for it. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5, Golden Wind, hardcover volume 5. We do have a copy of that from Viz. They were kind enough to send us a copy. So I'll be doing an overview of that. If you're interested in manga, we also have a manga playlist. Record of Glass Castle. This is a Osama Tezuka book that was originally a Kickstarter. And as far as other publishers, we have Kill Six Billion Demons from Dark Horse Comics. This is volume four from Tom Parkinson's Morgan. He's both the artist and the writer. So the fourth chapter in that series. BPRD, Hell on Earth, trade paperback edition. Lost on Planet Earth. Not sure what this is about, but I really like that cover. This is from Magdalene uh, Visagio. And the artwork is by Claudia, Claudia Aguirre. Uncanny Omar talk pretty one day. Man, I can butcher some names, I swear. Just ask my in-laws. Um, we also have Shadows Hardcover, which was originally solicited to come out last month. Usagi Ojimbo Saga, the trade paperback. This is the newest edition for those of you that have missed it. I've recently done an uh, Usagi Ojimbo reading order. And this is a book that I have in, in hardcover format, but they are reprinting the softcover format. And we're also getting The Witcher trade paperback volume 5 based on the popular book series and of course what made it really popular here in America was the video game and now we have a whole TV show. The Expanse is coming out that same week from Boom Studios. Really love that cover by Alejandro Aragon. Awesome name too. Corina Becco, she uh, is the one that did the Green Lantern Earth One story. So she's the writer on that particular book. Um, we're also getting Dead End Kids, Suburban Job big uh fan of frank gogol he's taken over power rangers friend of the show and a hell of a talented guy so if you guys haven't read his dead end kids solid solid reading there from humanoid publishing we have first degree crime anthology hardcover uh this one has me very interested because uh for the last 25 years the polar festival has been going on in france and this is a celebration of its silver anniversary so it's got a collection of just different stories from different people like david walker who's uh, who's done uh, bitter root uh michael lark one of the artists on gotham central lazarus uh he was doing that with greg rucka and david aha supplies the cover so it's got a lot of talent behind it and humanoid usually 
brings out a lot of wonderful translated stuff here to America. Meadowlark, coming of age crime story, also coming out that same week from Ethan Hawke and Greg Ruth. And this is Ethan Hawke, yes, Oscar nominated actor Ethan Hawke uh, from the Before Trilogy. Why did I go there? instead of one of my favorite movies of all time, Explorers. Anybody else seen Explorers? That was the first time I saw Amanda uh, Peterson. I had a, she was like one of my earliest crashes. What the hell am I talking about? All right, sorry. I'm going on a whole spiel about, oh, rest, she passed away too, Amanda Peterson, man. Beautiful girl. Queen of the Ring hardcover is coming out that same week. Uh, man. And this is one by Fanagraphics. Uh, it's Jaime Hernandez, the same people that did uh, The Love and Rockets. One of the Hernandez brothers is working on that. Also curious about that particular book. Uh, this is also the week that Strange Death of Alex Raymond has been pushed back. So I said, like I said, you know, sometimes books, the dates change. Two Week Wait is coming out. This is from a husband and wife team. Um, honestly, that one looks like a heavy read. And we're also getting, this is where the... <laughs> Zombie, how do I go from two week wait to zombie? Zombie Tramp Volume 21 is coming out that week, so it looks like it's been pushed back until August. Moving on to the week of August 11th from Marvel Comics, we have The Amazing Spider Man by Nick Spencer Volume 13, uh, collecting issues 61 through 65, as well as the King Ransom's uh, giant size issue. Captain America uh, Epic Collection The Captain. And that collects issues 333 to 350 and Iron Man 228. This is a classic Mark Grunewald story. Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon, got me really excited because Larry Hama is writing this particular book. It's a six issue miniseries collected in one trade paperback. 1961 is coming out, the Omnibus Edition. Both covers are coming out that same day, collecting different issues of the comics that came out in the month of August of 1961. Let's hope that one doesn't get delayed, because it'd be weird to see it come out in September. Miles Morales, Ultimate Spider-Man, Ultimate Collection, Book 2, collecting issues 13 through 28 and 16.1 of the Miles Morales saga. Star Wars, Dr. Aphra, 6 through 10, is being collected in Volume 2 called Engine Job. And this is the follow-up to the omnibus, that, uh, if you pick that up. X-Men by Jonathan Hickman, uh, Trade Paperback, Volume 3, collecting issues 16 through 20 of his Dawn of X era. Well, now we moved on to the Reign of X era. Cloak and Dagger Omnibus Volume 2. Both covers are available that same day. Uh, collecting the remaining issues of the classic Cloak and Dagger series. Uh, we move on to the Mutant Misadventures of Cloak and Dagger series. And then uh, the 1990 series, as well as Strange Tales, when they shared a comic with Doctor Strange. Uh, Marvel Masterworks Avengers Volume 21 is coming out. And look who's on that cover. One of my favorite Avengers of all time, the Black Knight, probably has to do with the fact that he's in the Eternals movie. Both the direct market cover and the and the standard edition cover are out. X Factor by Peter David, Omnibus Volume One. I sent um, I put some pictures up on our social media uh, yesterday, I think, showcasing the cover, the back, and the spine. Uh, I'm just very excited. This is one of my most anticipated books for the year. From DC Comics, we have Hellblazer. Volume 25, another season. Getting closer to that end, this collects issues 276 to 291, as well as the previously uncollected story uh, exposed from the 9-11 anthology. I'd love to see all of that collected one day in omnibus format. Uh, the New 52 is getting a deluxe edition. It's the 10th anniversary, just collecting random issues of Wonder Woman number one from the New 52, uh, J Justice League number one, uh, the Batman number one, and stories like that, Superman number one. So that's what that collection is. Interesting that they decided to go that route. As far as manga for that week, we have The Blade of the Immortal Deluxe Edition Volume 3. As I mentioned before, There'll be a total of 10 of these if they go all the way through. And I hope the sales have been good enough for them to continue that wonderful series. This is my top 20 favorite manga of all time. High School Girl uh, Volume 7 is coming out. I know that at least in Japan, they had some kind of legal issue with some of the video games that were showing. So it's interesting to see that Square Enix is actually publishing it here in America. Mint Chocolate Volume 3, that one is published by... Uh, Yen Press, and that one was a lot of fun. I like that uh, I did an overview of the first book. Sundome Milky Way. How did you sneak in here? We all know why it snuck in here. Come on. Come on. 
the hell's wrong with me? Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Edition, Hardcover Volume 14. Conti getting closer to that end. Getting closer to that end, because there were only 27 volumes, so... I think there'll be a total of 17 of these. Pokemon Adventure Collector's Edition Volume 9. How do we have Milky Way and Pokemon in the same video? But anyway, this is one my daughter, my youngest daughter, and I really enjoy reading together. I love that she schools me on my Pokemon not knowledge. I'm the uncanny Omar, not Omar Red or Blue. I never really, I've never played a Pokemon game. Uh, Mad, Mad, Mad K? Um, I don't know if I how to pronounce it. It's either Mad or Mad K, but love that cover. Other publishers, we have Birthright, Volume 10. Hopefully one day we will get this in some kind of oversized hardcover format. I know that they, through their own store, they sold this as a hardcover, but it's a standard size hardcover and it's just the hardcover to the first book. But this collects issues 44 through 50. This is a series that started in 2014 from Joshua Williamson and Andre uh, Brazan. So hopefully, Image will publish that one day in an oversized hardcover format. Science of Surfing Surfside Girls Guide to the Ocean softcover. Gosh, I try to say that 10 times fast. This is also published from Dark Horse Comics. Mighty Morphin Volume 2, so not Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but just Mighty Morphin. That's what the new naming uh, scheme is. So Mighty Morphin Volume 2 is coming out, collecting issues 5 through 8. This is the one that's written by Ryan Parrott from... Uh, Boom Studios, Cheer Up, Love, and Pom Poms, trade paperback coming out from Oni Press, Death Defying Devil, Our Home. So this is from Dino White, and this one's written by Gail Simone. Looks pretty interesting. I thought it was Daredevil at first, honestly. Elvira, Shape of Elvira. Interesting name. Dang in that. In the Shadow of Fallen Towers, graphic novels coming out that same day. And this one is written and drawn by Dan... Brown, or I'm sorry, Don Brown. And Don Brown is a journalist that interviewed families uh, and loved ones of people that were lost in the 9-11 attack. So, man. So it's interesting the range that you can do with this medium. You know, that's why I love this medium so much. Did you hear what Eddie Gain done? Or Eddie Gain done? Eric Powell. You had me at Eric Powell. You had me at this title. Monolith from Magnetic Press is coming out in hardcover format. And Street Fighter Memorial Archive Beyond the World hardcover is coming out that same week. The third week of August we have from Marvel Comics, Captain America Omnibus. This is the Rick Remender series. So collecting Captain America 1 through 25, Winter Soldier Bitter March, the new Captain America Fear Him, all new Captain America the first six issues, and Hell Hydra 1 through 4. Retailing for $125, both covers. Heroes Reborn trade paperback, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. So this collects the seven-issue miniseries as well as the Heroes Return one-shot. Not to be confused with the original Heroes Reborn, this is the new Heroes Reborn by Jason Aaron. The Marauders by Jerry Duggan, Volume 3 is coming out, collecting issues 16 through 20. Marvel vs. Doctor Strange, so these are the smaller size books. Collecting Uncanny Origins, Doctor Strange number 55, Marvel Adventure Super Heroes 5, and material from Strange Tales 126 and 127, as well as Marvel Fanfare number 5. The Mighty Marvel Masterworks continuing their line with their third book, X-Men. So collecting the first 10 issues of X-Men, and you can bet that my family is going to do another family review. We've done Fantastic Four, and we've done Spider-Man. So it's time to hit my favorite cast of characters, even though... This isn't where I fell in love with them, but it's going to be interesting to see what my daughters and my wife think about that. Uh, Marvel Masterworks, not Mighty, but just classic Marvel Masterworks. Team Up, Volume 6 is coming out that week, both covers. Reign of X, Volume 3 is coming out that week with the supposed, maybe Marauder 17, New Mutants 15, Cable 7, and Wolverine 8 and 9. And I say supposed because sometimes they change that. What if uh, um, the original Marvel series, Omnibus Volume 1, with three different covers? Man. All right. So, from DC Comics, we have the DC Poster Portfolio, J. Lee. It's a soft cover, but it, they're big books for the price, and especially if you're a fan of the artist. Gotham City Monsters is coming out this week. This is a mini series. Uh, I think there's six issues of this. And we're also going to get the Starman Compendium Volume 1 
and Sweet Tooth The Return trade paperback. Pretty sure maybe one of those will make it in my top 10 most essential buys or must buys for the month of August. As far as manga, this one's pretty interesting, but we have BB and Miyu Manga Volume 2. So I say interesting because it is printed at Tokyo Pop, and Tokyo Pop filed bankruptcy a few years ago, but it looks like they're still doing things print on demand. So that, that's really cool. Maybe they still have a few licenses that they uh, can still get out. And finally, yes, confirmation. It's back in the books. It's coming out this week. I'm so glad. And that is What's Michael Trade Paperback Volume 2. I don't think I added it to my top 10 because my top 10 was really difficult this month. But buy it. If you're a fan of cats, if you know anybody that's a fan of cats, fun of cats, fan of cats, um, or if you, you have kids, this, this manga is so good. Even if you're not a fan of manga, I 100% suggest you checking it out. Why didn't I add that to my top 10? Anyway, Asadora Volume 3. My wife loves this series. This is uh, Urasawa's newest series from uh, Viz Studio. Bungo Stray Dogs Beast Volume 1. That one looks interesting from uh, Yen Press. The Quintessential Quintuplets Box Set Season 1. Oh, I, I've heard a lot about this one from my buddy Gio, so... I'm probably gonna pick that box set up. I've been on that, I've got a box set bug. I got bit by the box set bug. I'll be doing another haul video with my manga that I picked up recently. Sensor hardcover, another Junji Ito book. And I know one book that my wife would probably recommend, and it is a book, it's a light novel, it's not a manga, but that is the Vampire Hunter D Omnibus. This collects the first three books. So they're not manga, right? Like there are Yoshitaka Mano pictures in there, but it's a novel and there's three novels in here. She loves the way it's written. She was a big fan of the first, I think she's got the first 10. And it's not in hardcover, sadly. It is in trade paperback format. But if you've never read them and you're a fan of the two movies, sadly, there's only two movies. I know there was a manga that came out from, I think DMP Manga released those here in America. And we only made it to volume five. But that stuff is awesome. I know she loves that stuff. I've only read the first book and the translations are nice. All right. Uh, as far as other publishers, we have Asterix, Volume 5, the Omnibus Edition. Uh, it's it's a hardcover format. Crimson Flower is coming out that week in trade paperback format from Matt Kent and the other gentleman named Matt. I will not butcher your last name, but I really dig that cover. It, just, it speaks to me. The girl's got big old hands, man, with knives. I'm in. I don't even know what that's about. Uh, but yes, that is coming out that week. EC Archives MD, the hardcover edition, published by Dark Horse Comics. And a book that is finally back in the catalog. Love to see all these uh, Dark Horse books that were taken out, completely gone for a while. But Kabuki Omnibus Volume 4 is back. And I think that wraps up the Kabuki series, because all they were doing is taking the library editions and putting them in softcover omnibus format. And one thing to keep in mind about the library editions, they're gorgeous, they're out of print, they're impossible to get. But the artwork is stretched out in those library editions. That's why I decided to get the omnibus formats instead, even though they're soft cover. But as a big fan of art, I don't like it when things are warped. But that's just my two cents. Radiant Black from Image Comics is coming out, the first trade paperback, collecting the first six issues at $9.99. If you haven't read this series from Kyle Higgins, I had him on the show. It's a stellar series. It's a good book, especially if you like his stuff on Power Rangers. Uh, two Moons, also from Image Comics. Dungeons and Dragons at the Spine of the World is coming out from IDW, as well as Star Trek Voyager 7, what is that? The Seven's Reckoning. Seven's Reckoning. Oh, Seven. Seven of Seven? You know? You know. I don't because I never watched it. I know. Uh, Lumberjanes Trade Paperback Volume 19. My goodness. You know, it's been two, three years since we did Old Reader, New Reader on that. I know my uh, oldest daughter really liked it. I thought it was okay, but my co-hosts, Maddie and Tina, absolutely loved it. Uh, Power Rangers is coming out, also from Ryan Parrott and Francesco Mor Mortarino. This is Volume 2, Collecting Power Rangers 5 through 8. So we have more Lord Dracon stuff. And Blade Runner Origins is coming out from Titan Comics. Jonah and the Impossible Monster. Really like that cover. It looks fun. It looks playful. And I believe it's Chris Samney. Yeah, Chris Samney and Laura Samney. Chris Samney providing the artwork for this. 
wonder if it's all ages. I'll have to read that. Psychotic Trade Paperback Volume 1 is coming out that same week. This is published by Humanoids. Again, publishing stuff from overseas. And they usually bring over a lot of gold. Blue hardcover. Really love that cover. Speaking of hardcover. Ah, man, drink every time. Uncanny Omar says cover. But come on, look at that. I mean, yes, it speaks a little anime, a little manga, but it's not. It's Angela and <laughs> try to give it a European accent. Angela Vialneo. I believe that's how you pronounce the lady's name. Four Fisted Tales, Animals in Combat. That's that is awesome. That is an awesome title. Oh, Judge Dredd, Complete Case Files, Volume 37. I promise I'm gonna bring back my overview. And by the way, big shout out to Super Smile, uh, Super Laugh Hard sorry name escaping me the username escapes me you know who you are sonny uh sending me those custom bound judge dread files man machine girl trade paperback volume two no idea what this is about but love that cover science full stop graphic memoir it looks like another one this is a breathtaking and gut-wrenchingly real graphic memoir of the struggles of an adolescent girl processing through the trauma of childhood and sexual abuse uh, so this is a memoir by karina shore so she's both the artist and the writer on this book. This is published by Street Noise Books. I haven't heard much about this one, but I just the cover really intrigued me. Uh, Wizards of Mickey. It looks like they are publishing these old uh, books that were once published by Boom Studios. Uh, so the Wizards of Mickey are back in a smaller graphic novel format. And for the last week of the month, August 25th, from Marvel Comics, we have Cosmic Ghost Rider Omnibus Volume 1. And this collects Thanos 13 through 18, Thanos Annual Number 1, Cosmic Ghost Rider 1 through 5, Cosmic Ghost Rider Destroys the Marvel uh, History 1 through 6, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 through 6, Avengers 22 through 25, Revenge of the Cosmic Ghost Rider 1 through 5, and Material from Thanos Legacy 1 and Wolverine Black, White, and Blood Number 3. So for those of you wondering if it double dips, it double dips quite a bit with the Donny Cates Cosmic Omnibus with the Guardians of the Galaxy by Donny Cates, oversized hardcover, and but that's about it. It does have some extra stories in here, like Revenge of the Cosmic Ghost Rider 1 through 5, as well as some of the Avengers from Jason Aaron collected for the first time in oversized hardcover format. Whenever I do an overview of it, I'll, I'll tell you what exactly is collected in there and where else you can find it. Daredevil by Charles Soule Omnibus coming out that same week. Both covers. Empire is finally coming out and I, and I mean finally because this book was originally supposed to be published i think in february and then we saw a date of april then may and then july and now it looks like it's the last week of the month but collecting all of empire all six issues uh the empire number zero avengers and fantastic four the kree scroll war empire number zero uh the mini series of x-men avengers and Fantastic Four 21 through 23, X-Men, Adjectiveless X-Men, so the Dawn of X stuff, 10 and 11, Captain Marvel 18 through 21, Immortal She-Hulk 1, Web of Venom, Empires, and Black Panther, and the Agents of Wakanda 7 through 8, and the Empire Handbook. It's a pretty big book. So that is finally coming out in the last week. Both covers, Fantastic Four, Epic Collection, Battle Behemoths. So this is the big fight between the Thing and the Hulk. So Fantastic Four 105 to 125. So now we're leaving the Stan Lee years and getting into the, not just Stan Lee, but also Jack Kirby years and getting into the Archie Goodwin and um, who else? Was it Roy Thomas, I think, eventually? Uh, John, Big John Buscema taking over the book. And Fantastic Four Epic Collection, Greatest Magazine. So the first Epic Collection is being reprinted that same week. Fantastic Four is getting a lot of love this week. Because Fantastic Four Omnibus Volume 4 uh, is coming out. Both the Arthur Adams cover and the classic cover. So collecting issues 94 through 125 and The Lost Adventure. This has the final issues of Jack Kirby's run. And for those of you wondering, it does have the new Spawn design. I did double check with Marvel. Uh, the one that it has uh, the new Spawn from Volume 2 of that Omnibus. Cole, the Destroyer original Marvel Years Omnibus. Both the direct market cover and the standard edition cover are due out this week. This is another book that was originally supposed to come out in July. Uh, collecting Cold to Conquer, 1 through 10. Cold to Destroyer, when the title was changed, 11 through 29. Creatures on the Loose, 10. And then Monsters and Prowl, number 16. Plus, 
a bunch of the material from Savage Sword of Conan and the Colon to Barbarians 1, 2, and 3. Both covers coming out that week. Marvel Portfolio. Oh, these are the portfolios. These are nice. Uh, in Hugh Lee. Really dig that cover of Spider-Man. Marvel's Infinity Saga poster book. Um, so this is, must be another poster book. This is the one that's uh, perforated. So you can just uh, take out the, uh, the posters that you want. Spider-Man, McFarlane, Omnibus. So this is the spin-off. <laughs> wasn't even talking about webbing. Uh, from the Amazing Spider-Man run when McFarlane said, You know what? I can carry my own title. See you later. Deuces. David Michelinie. So he took off to make his adjectiveless Spider-Man title. So this is one that he wrote himself, that he drew himself. He does have some guest artists and writers in here. So collecting Spider-Man, Adjective with Spider-Man from 1990, 1 through 14. All three covers available the same day, by the way. And number 16, as well as X-Force number 4. Number 16 being his final issue. Now, if you're thinking, what the heck? Why is it missing number 15? That's because he did not draw that one. That one was drawn by Eric Larson, and that is in the Spider-Man by Eric Larson omnibus. This um, one is retailing for $75. So even though it's a smaller book, it is $75, so it's cheaper. I know one that my buddy, my co-host, Wonder Maddie, is excited about, and that's Star Wars High Republic Trade Paperback Volume 1. There is no fear collecting the High Republic issues 1 through 5. Squirrel Girl, the unbeatable Squirrel Girl, is getting her second uh, Marvel... No, this is... I'm sorry, this is a graphic novel, so the smaller size books. Collecting issues 12 through 22. Venom by Donny Cates, Volume 6, The King in Black is coming out now from dc comics we're going to go ahead and talk about the one book that's coming out for the week of uh, august 25th and then we'll talk about the other books that are coming out on the 31st but that is fables compendium volume three as of right now volume one is out of print that's crazy so it's sold well enough for all those people that have been wanting to read fables in compendium format I guess you all did it because it it's completely out of print right now. 83 through thir 113 is what's collected in here, as well as Jack of Fables 33 uh, through 35 and the literals 1, 2, and 3. So it is including that crossover. So for the week of August 31st, we have Wonder Woman 80 Years Amazon Warrior Deluxe Edition hardcover. So just collecting different books from her 80 years of being around. Uh, by the way, if you want to, I can't believe I didn't mention this at the beginning, but if you want to bounce around the different weeks as they're coming out, I do put the timestamps in the description of the video with the different weeks that the books are coming out. That was suggested by you all, so I do listen to a lot of you all. Thank you all for all the wonderful suggestions you've had. Batman Adventures, Cat Got Your Tongue, so uh, collecting a lot of the Batman Adventures, which is the comic that's based on the cartoon, the Batman animated series. Uh, so collecting DC Universe number 2, number 19, Batman Gotham Adventures 4, 24, 50, and Batman Adventures number 10. Batman Zero Year, so collecting Batman 21 through 27, skipping 28, and 29 through 33, um, is coming out in trade paperback format. So the Zero Year event is coming out in trade paperback format. Preacher, the 25th anniversary, Omnibus Volume 2, wrapping up Preacher, for DC Comics and speaking of wrapping up, wrapping up the month of August again, coming out August 31st, Swamp Thing New Roots Trade Paperback. So this is the, I think this is the newer series of Swamp Thing, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't read this, so I don't know if this is the Ram V series or not. As far as manga for that week, we have the Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume 8 from Dark Horse Comics, Gantz Omnibus Volume 7, so collecting volumes 19 through 21 of Gantz, and One Piece Volume 97. I just saw a picture of the 100th volume in Japan, so that's awesome. As far as other books coming out that week, we have Bacon and Monsters, I'm sorry, Bacon and Monstrous Tales from Troy Nixie. This is a hardcover collection published by Dark Horse. So, I have no idea what this is about, but it, that, that cover and title have me interested in this. Superstar artist Troy Nixie will take you on a journey through the creepy and otherworldly in this collection of never-before-collected tales, from alien invasions to monsters lurking in, in the unseen. Okay, say no more. That looks interesting. Uh, Victory's, I'm sorry, Victory's Omnibus is coming out. So, this is by Michael uh, um, Avon Oming, who is the co-creator of Powers as it says so on the title. I wasn't reading the title, I promise. I actually knew that. We are getting Low, Deluxe Edition Volume 2, wrapping up Low. Old Head, 
trade paperback. This is Kyle Stark's new book from, um, <laughs> sorry, just cracking up at that, Dracula. All right, it's a decades-long feud with Dracula. Space Jam meets Fright Night. Say no more. And then we're also getting Punder World, trade paperback volume one. This is uh, Linda Sajic. I think this is uh, Stepan Sajic's partner. I think that's how you say their last name. And man, that art looks beautiful on that cover. 1984, the graphic novel is coming out that week. Now, originally written, of course, by George Orwell, but this, this is adapted by Fido Nesti. So sometimes these are good, you know? Sometimes the adaptations are really good. We're also getting Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Legacy Edition, trade paperback, volume five that week, as well as the Butchery hardcover edition from Fanagraphics by Bastien Vives. And Alberto Brecchia's Dracula is coming out in hardcover. That looks I, I like that cover. Celestial Archers is coming out that week from 21 Pulp. No idea what this is about, but is that a mama bear protecting her baby bear? Don't you go on and hurt animals. It looks really pretty. I like that, uh, that cover. No idea what it's about, honestly. Freaks and Gods, trade paperback, volume one, coming out that same week. This one is published by 215 Inc. And it is Chris Dreyer and Giuseppe De Elia. It's a very animated look to that cover, but I dig it. La Muerta Lives, hardcover edition, volume two. And that's an interesting title because La Muerta means the death and lives. So, and I dig that cover. Mickey Mouse Zombie Coffee Hardcover Edition. No idea what it's about, but it looks crazy up my alley. Space Riders Volume 3, Vortex of Darkness. I read the first one. That's crazy and up my alley. So I have to remember to get this one. Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons. Hardcover Edition coming out that week. Written by Jim Zub and Patrick Rothfuss. And artwork by Troy Little. So this one is printed by Oni Press. And to wrap up the month of uh, August of 2021... From Scout Comics, we have White Ash, trade paperback season one. Love that cover. This is from Charlie Stickney and Connor Hughes. It collects all six issues. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these books when they come out, check out our sponsor. This episode is sponsored by CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They pride themselves on packaging your books so they arrive safely in an excellent condition as well as prompt and helpful service. Check out the bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. CGN is excited to announce that they are now taking pre-orders. They're making it easier for you to ensure that you don't miss out on the hottest releases. CGN is currently running a special promotion for you minties. If you're a first-time customer, let them know that you were referred by near mint condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping shipping on your next order. This promotion is valid for US customers only. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount and quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And those are the collected editions coming out in the month of August of 2021. Keep in mind that the dates might change. So they get, could get pushed back to September, October. We're hoping that they stay here, but who knows with everything going on. Uh, so please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Come back to the channel to check out my top 10 essential buys, must buys, uh, my the, the books I'm suggested suggesting for the month of August. And more importantly, check out our spread shop and Patreon. Great ways to support the channel. And thank you so much to our existing patrons. Again, this all of this written documentation will be available on our Patreon. There's different tiers you can check out. Now, more importantly, everyone stay healthy, stay safe, and much love.